Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the M53 M55, the Tier 9 American SPG. This one's located on the northeast spawn of Glacier, and it's under the command of Oxidor of Olymp. And this is on the NA server, yes, because Oxidor now fights on both servers, and he streams on Twitch TV, and he's working up to his third mark on this RT. Well, the gun barrel's dropped. That's probably because he's not loaded in yet, or he's actually doing something while he's moving now. Now, this is the M55 with the 8-inch howitzer. How do I know that? Well, the gun barrel doesn't extend over the front of the vehicle, and that means that it's definitely the 8-inch howitzer. If it did extend over the front, that would be the 155mm gun. Now, he's capable of doing 900 alpha, penetrating through 52mm of armor, and his reload time by the book is 40.27 seconds. We can see he's got a reload of 31.69. Uh, so he's managed to knock off nine seconds. Quick shot on a Hori one. And he gets a direct hit for 327. But notice that shell came in from the enemy just then. Kicked up the ground near him. So somebody knew where he was and fired at him. Okay, so he is knocking a few trees down here, but he's not really giving the enemy RT a clue as to exactly where he is, just the vicinity. That may have been one of the people who fired at him. Either that or this one, the Progetto 46. He's loaded. Rounds out. Oh, well, that one went right over the top of the Progetto. So RNG said no on that occasion. And Oxidor certainly knocking over a lot of trees, but then... This map is very big, or rather, the NA server is very big on counter battery. So it's more than likely that he's trying to provide um, a dummy, something that will try and fool the enemy RT into firing at the trees rather than firing at him. Okay, we saw an E50M, but we've lost, or it's actually an E50, not an E50M. We lost sight of him, but look at this BZ176. If he gets closer to the, um, the tower, or rather the citadel on the... Uh, um, on the aircraft carrier, he might be able to get a shot at him. Okay. Can't get a shot at the moment. I'm pretty certain he knows that guy's going to move forward. We might be getting a shot at this ISM. Rounds out. And he gets a splash kill! So he's taken an enemy gun out of the game. And in fact, it's the first kill of his team. So his team's not doing very well at the moment because, uh, yes, he's the only one to score a kill so far. They've lost four teammates. Okay, M6A2E1, which is the mutant. Let's see if we can put a shell into him. We're almost loaded. He's got to fire over the mask on the carrier. And unfortunately, it actually does hit the mask. Do you believe it? That, that tank was saved from getting a real paddling. Things are not going well down in the south. You can see that although our guys are moving in on the enemy and there's a 56 TP in their way. Oh, they got rid of him. So actually we are doing well down there now. We're not doing so well in the northwest corner of the map though. Oh, he got a blind kill. He took out the leopard prototype. He was trying to run away from our guys and he took him out with a blind shot okay so again he's knocking trees down but i'm not so worried about that at the moment more the fact that he's actually now four tanks down on the enemy notice how he moved back after he'd knocked that tree down got out of the way just in case the enemy rt tries to fire at the base of the tree in fact, some of his teammates have actually come back to join him uh, behind the trees. And in fact, there's the Lanson C trying to make his way close. Unfortunately, from this position, we can't get a shot on him because he's just over the ridge line. We can't bend the shell in that direction. But he's backing up to try and get into a position where he might be able to get a shot over there. But I, I'm not so sure he can. And our attack force stand in the south. Well, that kind of fell apart. Okay, we're aiming for an SU-130PM, last seen in those bushes. 
But we see the E50, and he's headed for the same spot, or is he? No, he changed his mind. We're firing for the SU-130 PM. And it's a kill! A blind kill on an SU-130 PM who didn't change position after he was spotted. And he stayed in the same spot, so he used the minimap to actually put the shell in and took the guy out. Yeah, if you do get spotted, don't stay in the same spot. Artie will just use that as a tool to actually work out where to put the shell. And he got a kill for no price whatsoever. And oh dear, that E50 went in. He's just ram killed our TS-55 or 54. But there's a splash kill on the E50. So four kills now for Oxidor. But the team are five tanks down on the enemy. And he's having to relocate because the enemy are getting really close to him. In fact, it looks like he's now going to have to shotgun to kill the enemy at close range. But that's exactly what he's doing. Okay, so he's going for the shotgun on the mutant. And he gets it. 231, but he was spotted. And now the enemy RT is obviously going to try and punish him. It's an FV3805, the tier 9 British SPG. And we've been spotted again, but this time round we're spotted because it's a proximity spot. It's just too close. And back now, there's only four left on his team. And he's the most active member of his team at the moment. He's auto aiming onto the Lance and C. He pulled off the auto aim because obviously the target was actually. We had a red line to the target. Now we've got a red line that works. Oh, he got another kill. He used the red line to work out exactly was it on target. And yes, it was. Using all of his skill, he now has five kills. Can he get another one? Well, he might be able to. The enemy's now in our cap area. There's only three left on his team, including the Strip 1030, Oxidor, and a T103. The T103 is in a position where he could reset the cap if he needs to, and he has. Okay, now we can shotgun this guy. Okay, we're auto aimed on, waiting for the reload to go through, but we can kill this guy and get a top gun. He goes down, though. Taken out by the T-103, but he did receive a, a, a shot from the enemy RT. We've knocked down so many trees, we get the Forester's Award of the Year. I feel like breaking out into a tune verse of uh, I'm a Lumberjack, because Oxidor certainly knocked down a lot of trees. And in fact, the next enemy is on the way in. It's a VK-16801P, and he's... I think he's manually aiming that one. Oh my god, he's got his top gun. He manually aimed that for the top of the turret and it actually hit and wiped out. So now he's got a top gun. He's probably got the highest damage on his team. Well, certainly um, he's got the highest damage on his team. He's the only player to get more than one kill on his team. But we've, uh, we're about to lose the T-103 because he's now being intercepted by two enemy tanks. We can get this Shrek. Yes! He got him! Seven kills! One more and he gets the Radley Waters. Incredible work. He has basically tried to carry his team all along. We've, we're down to, down to just two. The Strip 1030 and, of course, Oxidor. Now, the enemy might come in from the west side if it's the BZ-176. But uh, we do know that they have got the, I think it was a, a Ho Re-1. And there's the T-103 on the enemy team. He's trying to get a good spot. This is going to be his last shot. And he does get a big hit for 542. But now... He's got a long reload and he has been stunned. Or is he? No, he's not been stunned. He's been spotted. And I expect enemy RT shells to be coming in any second. T103 can see us. And we've just got hit by two tanks. The BZ hit us in the tracks. The T103 got one into the body, but there's the RT shell. 
the kill shot came in from the T103 and the game is over. Here's the end of battle results and that was a second class tanker for Oxidor in the M53, M55. He managed to get a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this one. He managed to get nine and he got a Top Gun for getting at least six kills. He ended up with seven, just one short of getting a Radley's in that game. But he couldn't reload in time to take out the T103 even though he wanted to. And his win eight from the game, 3,638, which is super unit come standard. But it's what you expect because Oxidor is a super unit come player. He's very, very good indeed. That's why he obviously streams on Twitch TV and, of course, why he's uh, the, the commander of a clan, uh, the Olymp clan, which also I'm a member of Olymp and... Quite a few other players also have joined Olim, especially RT players, because of course, when you want to join the best, you want to uh, you want to be with the very best players, the very best RT players on your um, on your um, server. Well, if we look at team score, we can see that he didn't get the highest damage in the game. Funnily enough, that was the TS54 on the enemy team. He got 3,366 hit points, but he didn't get the highest damage in the game. That went to the Hori 1, got a high caliber for 4,593 hit points. And second place was the TS-54. Third place went to Oxidor with 2,998 and, of course, getting a top gun. When it came to kills, he definitely had the highest number. Seven kills to Oxidor, four kills to the Hori 1. Two kills went to the CC1 Mark II, the E50, and the Shrek on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, it was the Hori 1 who did best with 1,148. He was the only one to get over 1,000 base. Second place went to the BZ176, who managed 865. And third place went to that T103, the guy who killed him in the end, who got 860. We can see that uh, Oxidor got the third highest base XP on his team with 565. And he was only beaten by the TS-54 and the T-103 on his own team. He fired 12 shots, got 7 direct hits on the enemy, 2 penetrating shots in that game. Uh, pretty amazing, actually. I think one of the penetrating shots must have been the SU-130 PM. Yes, very thin armor on those tanks. If you hit them, they, the shell normally goes straight through and yields you a full result. And in fact, in that one... Uh, all he had left was 585 hit points he was taken out by that shot i think the shrek might have been the other yes the shrek has very thin armor as well 729 hit points that's all he had left after that penetrating shot and so two penetrating kills in the game eight splashes damage of 2998 of which 1799 were at more than 300 meters so you can see nearly a well it's over a thousand hit points of damage done at close range Three hits received, two penetrated, one non-penetration. That was the shot from the BZ-176, who actually shot into his rear. actually hit the tracks, not the vehicle itself. And he damaged 10 of the enemy, killed 7, did 193 hit points of damage assist, and 386 hit points of stun assist off two stuns. On a premium count, he actually suffered a loss from that game of 11,657 credits. But that's mainly down to the fact that he had to pay the consumables at full price. If he actually hadn't have had to pay that because he bought in bulk, then that would actually be a positive figure. He also took away 1,339 experience points out of that game as well. So it was a positive result. But this is not the only replay that Oxidor sent in on the NA server. He's actually sent in another one. So let's have a look at that replay right now. Here's the second replay and yep, don't blink. We're, we're not playing the same replay again. He's actually gone onto the same spawn in the same RT. Game on. Well, this is a tier nine game. He's of course a tier nine RT, but in this game he's top tier. So they're up against tier eight opponents. And he's moving to his firing position. And, yep, he's headed off into the woods. But he's not actually knocking any trees down just yet. And sometimes it can be advantageous to be on this slope and on the platform, just slightly over to one side. Okay, he's looking. Overhead mode to try and get the best shot he can. Scorpion G, just behind the trees. Let it settle. Rounds out. Looks good. Oh, very good. Direct hit on a scorpion. And scorpions do not have much armor. And if he's hit that guy on the right spot, he probably got a high roll, but didn't get enough to kill the target. 
but I reckon he's left him on virtually no hit points whatsoever. Because Scorpions only have 1,150, and if he got an average roll, 900 alpha, then he's left him on only 250 hit points altogether. Okay, T54 heavy, lined up, rounds out, and oh, he knew it, Shell was inbound. And he stopped suddenly in his tracks and backed up. So he didn't like that, but he had saved himself from actually getting serious damage. He only lost 124 hit points from that shot. Now, our guys haven't gone around the ring road, so these guys are slowly making their way up there, thinking they're going to come across some heavy tanks from our team. And there's none there. They've all gone to the northwest corner. Rounds out. Direct hit on the side. 373 hit points. Now, he did knock those trees down, but he's going to confuse the enemy RT by not firing from the same spot where he's knocked the trees down. He's trying to fox the enemy into firing at the fallen trees. Okay, we saw a T-54 heavy. There he is. Rounds out. Um, well... Yes, it was close, but it didn't do anything, I'm afraid. I think he went into the hot pools there, and that saved him from any damage. But he's now stunned and hiding behind the rock. Probably because he knows that an RT is watching him at the moment. The RT on the enemy team, by the way, is an M53, M55. In the last game, it was an FB3805. So he's got somebody with similar characteristics firing against him now look at this leopard prototype and scorpion and the scorpion is missing hit points and now he's missing some more because that's another 401 hit points but he splashed the leopard as well for 220 so he scored in total 621 hit points from one shot there and we're trying to get shots on that leopard because he is really pestering our guys who are down below might be able to land a shell in there. Remember, standard reload, 40.27. And we can see the Oxidor's got 31.69. And he takes the Scorpion out with the next round. 350 hit points. Beautiful shot right into the rear of the vehicle. Oh, that Scorpion driver's not going to be happy because everyone who hit him in that game was an arty. <laughs> the same arty, but every time okay bc 58.2 line up dialed in fires in but oh he stopped and he takes a hit 362 off the front of the armor okay oxen will stop here for the moment he's choosing which way he's gonna go Got two enemy tanks up here, a T-77 and a Shrek. Was that Shrek? I'm not sure. It may have been a Leopard prototype, actually. No, it was a Leopard prototype. Okay, T-77, snapshot. Oh, he would have been bang on target. The Leopard, uh, the T-77 had already died to our SG-130PM, but he was bang on target. We've cleared the northwest corner of the map as well, which means now that he can move out with, in safety. And he's occupying this position. Should be able to get shots on the enemy. Looking for the leopard prototype. Just finishing off the load. Okay, we're hoping the CC1 Mark II will actually spot the leopard for us. If he's going to be anywhere, he's probably retreated back. He's marked where he's looking. That tells his teammate there's an RT covering that position. If you spot him, we'll hook him. No, he has pulled all the way back. In fact, the T-49 is down on the ice. He's trying to get behind our guys. And he came to a sudden stop there. Rounds out. Oh, kill shot! Oh, went straight through the armor. 938 hit points one shot kill he had suffered damage from a previous shot but 
Well, the first time Oxidor fires with him, he goes out the game. He's back in the garage. Okay, Leopard Prototype went all the way back to his cap area. And you can now see where the enemy RT is. We're trying to hit the Leopard Prototype because he's more dangerous to our teammates. We get a shot into his rear. Rounds out. He fires. He shoots. He scores. And he got the kill. Or did he? No, he didn't get the kill, but he certainly got a big fire. And he, the Leopard went down to the Chrysler GF. But it was a beautiful shot. Huge amount of hit points. Over a thousand hit points. Close to 1,200. And, well, it's 1,267. Uh, wow. Big hit. Now, the M53, M55. He's gone. And there's still two enemies left. Now, there's the Striv. And he's firing into that corner to stun them. He actually gets some splash on the strip 1030. The tortoise is in sight. There's the tortoise. Okay, we've got some more damage assist. The strip was taken out. This is the last enemy, the tortoise. He's, tell he's telling them that he's going to help them by stunning the tortoise, making him an easy kill. He's loaded. Rounds out. Right into the side. Oh, yes. And the kill goes to the uh, to the Scorpion G on our team. And that is a victory. What an incredible result at the end of that game. From having carried the team on the first game uh, and not getting the win, he turns it around. And on his next game, well, not the very next game, but the next game he played on Glacier. He got an ace tanker out of that game as well as a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 12. A gauze medal for doing more damage, exceeding eight times the hit points of his own vehicle. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And on top of that, he got a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And his win ace on that game was 6,277, which is super unicum and a bit more. Let's have a look at team score and see where he was. Well, look at that. Right at the top of the table this time, 4,724 hit points of damage. The next highest scorer in the game was the Tortoise on the enemy team. He got 4,367. And the third highest damage, well, that went to the Strip 1030, which was the second last enemy to die. He had 3,115. Well, when it came to kills, it was actually the Scorpion G on our team because, of course, he went in behind the, Scor the tortoise and shot him in the rear at close range, and that ended the game. But only after the shot that uh, Oxidor fired in to wound and damage the tortoise, so he was immobilized and stunned, and there was nothing he could do, and, of course, made it easy for the Scorpion to get his kill. He got four kills in the game. The tortoise got three kills in the game. Two kills went to Oxidor, the E75, and the Yag Tiger on his own team. And when it came to base XP, it was the Scorpion who did the best with 1,133. But just behind him was Oxidor with 1,049. And they were the only two players on his team who managed to get over 1,000 base in the game. With the third place going to the CC1 Mark II, who got 885 base experience points. And he also picked up a Confederate in that game. He fired 12 rounds in this game, got eight direct hits on the enemy and two penetrating shots. Well, no guesses for who actually did get penetrated uh, a lot. Um, actually, it wasn't Scorpion G that he did hit. That was the blind hit at the start. He followed it up with another direct hit and then got the kill shot. The T-49, yep, thin armor on that thing, went straight through his armor, wiped him out completely. And I think the other one that he actually managed to penetrate might have been the, the Leopard. Yes, it was the Leopard tank. That was the one he set fire to. When the shell penetrated the engine deck, it effectively set fire to the rest of the vehicle. And it was only the fact that the, the Chrysler was there uh, that actually deprived or denied uh, Oxidor of getting another kill because I'm sure that guy would have burnt to death if it wasn't for the Chrysler taking the kill just at the moment that he was about to expire. So 1,487 hit points to one penetrating shot. Okay, let's go back to the details. He also got 11 splashes in the game. 
4,724 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damaged 80 the enemy, killed two of them, and did 919 hit points of stun assist off 10 stuns. So his teammates were shooting the enemy when he was stunning them on this game. On a premium count, he actually earned a profit of 30,722 credits. And he also took away 1,573 experience points. But you saw some lovely shots in this game. Really beautiful. Some blind shots, some bang on target shots, even some snapshots that actually worked. Uh, but uh, yes, I think towards the end of the game, he was just having fun, especially with that shot on the leopard. A beautiful shot to set fire to the guy right onto the engine deck. And uh, yeah, it went straight through. I hope you enjoyed those replays. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.